Hi there, this is Mr. Boyd. Today, we are going to talk about how to enable God Mode in Windows 10. Activating the God Mode brings all different settings of your computer in one single place where you can play with each setting and perform different functions. The God Mode gives you complete control over your Windows 10 PC and you can do anything you want. But beware! Make sure that you are careful and don't mess with the settings too much because this may lead to a corrupted operating system on your device. Okay, let's begin. To enable God Mode, just create a new folder anywhere you want and name it the following. I will also write the string in the description of this video so you can copy and paste it. When you create the folder, it will turn into a new file with a different icon. Open it and you will be inside the God Mode where everything is in your hands. When the God Mode folder opens, you'll be presented with a list of more than 130 Windows tools and settings organized into categories and sorted alphabetically within them. Just like any folder, you can search for what you want in it. For even easier access to a specific Windows tool or setting, right-click its entry and choose Create Shortcut. Windows will warn you that you can't create a shortcut in the God Mode folder, so click Yes to place the shortcut on your desktop instead. If you find God Mode's category structure difficult to navigate, you can display all its options in one alphabetical list instead. Right-click a blank area of the folder and choose Group By, then Name. Similarly, you can display God Mode settings as easily clickable icons rather than text entries in a long list. Right-click a blank area and choose View, then select either Medium Icons or Large Icons. If all of this sounds too powerful for you to handle, you can always delete the file. Despite its name, God Mode doesn't imbue Windows with any dangerous or mighty powers. It simply organizes a whole bundle of settings into one convenient place. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one. See you in the next video!